According to several reports, Basaru Diomaye Faye published a declaration of his assets before the election and called on other candidates to do the same. His assets include a house in Dakar, land in his hometown and outside the capital, and bank accounts with approximately $6,600 in them. When he was released from prison and reunited with his children and two wives, he hit the campaign trail with Sanko, drawing thousands of supporters to their rallies and caravans. Senegal has made a significant political shift by placing its faith in the presidential candidate, Basiro Diomaye Fay. Before his meteoric rise, Fay, who hails from the opposition party PASTEF, was a relatively unknown figure. However, everything changed when Usmane Sonko, the firebrand leader of PASTEF, was convicted and disqualified from running in the elections to replace incumbent President Macky Sall. Fay, who has never held an elective position, was arrested in April 2023 on charges of contempt of court and defaming magistrates, which he denied. His mentor was also arrested a few months later, leaving the party in disarray. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Sonko's candidacy, Fay put his name forward for the presidential race. Remarkably, he cut while he was still in prison. Over 100 parties and some prominent political figures including former Prime Minister Aminata Touré, joined Faye's campaign under the banner Daomaye Mui Sonko, which means Daomaye is Sonko, in the local Wolof language. As local vote counting commissions progressively unveil preliminary results, it is apparent that 44-year-old Daomaye Faye will be Senegal's next president. However, some critics have voiced concerns about his lack of experience in government affairs, given that he has never held an elective position. Nevertheless, his supporters believe that he can successfully lead the country. Faye has pledged to improve Senegal's control over its natural resources by promoting national companies and preventing the nation from falling into economic enslavement. He has also outlined some foreign policy priorities, including reforming the troubled regional bloc ECOWAS and advancing Africa's economic integration. While challenges undoubtedly lie ahead for the former Secretary General of PASTEF, Senegal's citizens have placed their trust in him to lead the country towards a prosperous future. Although official results are yet to be released, Faye's victory with over 50% of the votes means there won't be a second round of voting. Faye's campaign promises to improve Senegal's control over its natural resources by promoting national companies and renegotiating oil and gas contracts while introducing a new currency. It remains to be seen how his plans will be implemented, but many Senegalese citizens are hopeful that this change will bring about positive economic development for the country.